folks, welcome back to the ABC Journeyman. I am the Custard Prophet, and welcome to the bottom of Southern League Division One South. Um, it's going to be a challenge, uh, certainly looking through the squad, having a, a proper think about how we're going to play tactically. It's going to be as hard as it could be, but it, looking actually through the squad, I think there is reason to be fairly. Um, happy with what we have there's definitely some quality in here there's areas where it's terrible but there is some quality and today we've got to play top of the table so bottom versus top but with a new manager in charge and look at those dynamics now they are happy team cohesion club atmosphere very very good managerial support is average but they're kind of waiting to see what i do um yeah, and tactically, we have put something together, which is pretty much the tactic that I was using in the last two clubs, but just just uh, adapted to uh, for this team. I don't think one up top will work at all with a team struggling to score goals. Um, so what we've what we've done is is developed a tactic which is basically trying to get the uh, ball out to the wide men. We're going to uh, use their pace but we also have support for Richard Knoll um, in, in the form of Davis who is a, a reasonable target man, a 17 year old target man but he's going up there he's got he's got strength he's got height um, and, and good jump in reach and he's able to head it so he is going to be our main uh, threat from corners and we've set the corners up for that big problem though as far as I can see is it's centre back We've got we've we've we do have a player out, so Tajay Field would probably be our best centre back, uh, and this is this is the best centre back. He's a seventeen year old. Uh, I've got another player who is coming back on loan, who is probably of a similar level, but the two we've got in here are dreadful. Uh, I mean, not dreadful, but they're, they're not great. A nineteen year old Charlie Tuppen and uh, Jorge. <laughs> Oreganardly, which is just a glorious smorgasbord of names. Um, but as a as a defender, I'm not convinced he is really a centre back. He's more of a left back, and that's probably what we want to develop him as. But as a centre back, mm, I think I think we might have problems there. But we got nobody else, so literally nobody else in the entire squad who 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 could come in there. So. Um, yeah, that's an area where we desperately need to bring someone in, probably on loan, and prob and hopefully to just 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 take charge of that. Uh, I think central midfield is also a bit of a problem. I don't think I talked through facilities last time, but as you can see, it's pretty um, low. The the ground is large, and we'll have a look at that in a future episode in real life. Uh, see exactly where Bashley is. So I think it, we said it was near. Um, Limington, so on the on the sort of south coast near the ferries for the Isle of Wight, but basic corporate facilities, which is not the worst, and I think is that not the worst? Is basic above poor? I'm not sure. Poor training facilities, poor youth facilities, and a zero youth level, no stadium sponsor whatsoever. <laughs> so we've got work to do. We can spend a maximum of four years here, folks. Remember that. Uh, so that's. We're going to try and work our magic in those four years and get Bashley promoted from this division. That's the plan. If we get relegated and we don't get sacked, if we win promotion the next season, that still counts as a promotion. So, yeah, we're going to try and avoid that. I think uh, the board are pretty realistic. They say relegation playoffs is where they want us to finish, which means we just have to finish 18th. But we are... Adrift at the bottom, uh, below well four points off that. So we need today is going to be the start of it. Um, fingers crossed, we can get something over this uh, from game out of this from game because this is as hard as it gets. Or from sorry, dear God. Uh, and then we've got. I don't know if it gets easier. I guess it does. That's going to be a big game street. So it's a big period here 
Right, let's go. Let's go and play. Let's go and play a game of football. Burton against Oxford. Nice. Fingers crossed. I have no idea how how this is going to work. Um, that's not actually. I had I had that on balanced. Has this just reverted back to what I had before? Oh, get stuck in. Take that off. <laughs> no. Remember what happened there. Um, yeah, pass into space. Standard. Yeah, play out wide. And I've taken off the uh, be more disciplined at the minute. We'll see whether we need that on or not. But I think using the crosses, using Davis there, fingers crossed we'll be fine. I'm just worried about our centre-backs. Right then, folks. Let's see some football with our third club. Bashley. Is this is this going to be the one that we really kind of get, um, get it? You know, we feel more. Didn't really feel it with the last one. Andover, I did. I, I enjoyed the time with Andover. I'd have liked to spend a bit longer there, but didn't really work out at Barwell for, for various reasons. I'd have liked to see if I could have turned it around fully, but yeah. Anyway, new manager effect. This is this is home ground. I mean, it's not bad looking, is it? There's like some warehouse behind there, some warehouse there. Some, I mean, it's a, it's a bizarre thing, isn't it? The f football manager stadium backdrops. Right, come on, let's go, let's go. Well, early signs are interesting. Oh, Regan Ardley, the, who who is our centre back, is apparently taking. Um, Oh, oh, KMB. Oh, oh man, how did you miss that? You did everything, the hard stuff, and you didn't score. What a chance that was. So, yeah, why is a Regan, Regan Ardley playing um, corners? I, I did set up the corners as well. I don't remember putting him on that. Well, I've got to say, 35 minutes in, we've not really given them much to, to worry about. Oh, my God. Oh, Pete's sake, goalkeeper. What an absolute lunatic. Two very clear chances for both sides. One which should have absolutely been a goal for us. And that would have been a, a deserved start. And then the goalkeeper had his moment of madness. Passed the ball to their... Um, it, was a, it was a perfect pass to their midfielder. And they decided not to score. It was, it's a long way out, but still, there wasn't a goalkeeper anywhere near that goal. So, very, very positive start. Let's get into the dressing room and say we're proud of everyone's effort. Andy Davis, our, our target man, is a bit worried still. But, oh dear, are we going to start giving up things here? It's a chance. Davis. Oh, it's over the top. I thought that was nestling into the top of the net. So... We sit here, 86 minute gone. We're still nil nil. We've had a couple more chances. It's a very even game. We brought Gleason on, yeah, and we've changed him up as a playmaker, deep line playmaker. Actually, can play that role reasonably well. Um, so he's on, and we brought John Joyce on for Frankie Monk, who who's run himself into the ground. And we might actually go for a change here and bring on Nicolau. And maybe let's change him to a pressing forward or a deep line forward on attack. Last few minutes, see what we can do. Well, I mean, let's let's be very positive about this. We've just played top of the league, um, and probably, probably should have beaten them because of that chance right at the start. So Kayembe should have absolutely scored that goal. Centre-backs, despite me saying how terrible they were, have played brilliantly. But as I understand it, actually centre-back ratings are a little bit um, overpowered. Uh, so that's probably why that is. But they haven't had a clean sheet in God knows how long. We, aren't, we haven't solved the problem of goal scoring yet. But we have seemingly dealt with the problem of goals going in. So... Maybe a few bits more uh, chance conversion um, training. We'll have a little look into the uh, um, 
the data hub to whether there's anything in there that we can glean from why we're not creating chances or scoring them at least because we created at least one goal's worth of chances according to the XG so that's good we had a good possession good pass completion right better than the the top of the league only a couple of shots on goal which is probably one of the issues and uh, we didn't make the most of uh, corners we've and a bit too much fouling but pretty happy overall very very good and we have to we have to be positive we have, we've taken a point there and we could have we could have been more against the best team in this division so that that's very positive. So if he can play like that against the poorer teams, surely there are three points out there for us. Surely. Right, so it still means we're bottom of the league. Um, but we have closed that gap to Hel Helston Athletic. Is that Helston in Cornwall? We've we've closed the gap uh, to just three points. Obviously, our goal difference is terrible, but what what an important result that was! What an absolutely vital result, and it really should be a shot in the arm to the rest of the team. But we need to get some goals, critical. So we've got Helston Athletic coming up. So that's an absolute stonker of a game. I wonder actually if we come back for that one because it is so important. That's that's the team we're trying to catch. We got to play Cinderford before that. Going away to Cinderford is going to be tough, but we have this uh, this new tactic to go off, and we haven't conceded a goal there. And you know, there's not been many games. We've only had one other game where we haven't conceded a goal. So that's pretty good. It's the best team in the division. Let me know what you thought about that, what I should be doing, whether the tactics right, all those sort of things. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one, which will be only in a couple of, a couple of games time against uh, Helston Athletic. We're travelling to Cornwall. See you then. Bye-bye.